when you focus on the breath. In Pali they say that you're establishing mindfulness. It's like taking a post at the edge of the sea and standing it upright, planting it firmly down into the sand, deep enough so that when the water comes in, the water goes out, the waves come, the waves go, the tides come, the tides go, the post can stand in place, not get knocked around. It knows the things are rising, it knows the things are passing away. There are a lot of things it can't stop. But it's not affected by these things, or at least part of your mind is not affected by the things that arise and pass away. That's the kind of quality you want to develop in the mind. You're aware of the things in the world as they come and they go. Some things you can have an influence on, and some things are beyond your control. But you can try to get some control over your mind, so you have a place inside that's solid. It doesn't go up when the water comes up, it doesn't go down when the water goes down. The parts that will go up and down, okay, let them go up and down. But let there be something that just knows inside that doesn't go up and down, doesn't go down with the other things. Otherwise your mind is like a post that's lying on the beach. The waves come in and they wash the post up, the waves go out, the post gets pulled out with riptides. It gets washed up back again. Sometimes it crashes against rocks, sometimes it comes against people, breaking arms, breaking legs. That's the mind that's not established. It can cause harm to itself, harm to other people. So try to keep at least part of your mind established, because we live in this world of ups and downs. And if we go up and down with the world, we begin to lose our balance. We can think about the world spinning around. There's part of the world, though, that doesn't spin. There's a part that's right at the, at the center. So try to stay right at your center so you don't go spinning around with the world. And that way you don't harm yourself, you don't harm others. And you can find some measure of security in this world that is so insecure. So establish your mind right here. The breath comes in, the breath goes out, you're right here. Comes in again, goes out again, you're right here. Try to establish this sense of continuity, this sense of solidity inside. And it'll protect you from lots of different dangers. Dangers that you would cause to yourself, dangers that you would cause to other people. Because the dangers that come out of the mind, those are the most dangerous things in the world. So as long as the mind is solid, you're not adding anything to the dangers of the world. And eventually you get to a place where the dangers of the world have no effect on you at all. That's when the mind is really secure and serene.